hello, hello, and welcome, guys. If you're new here, welcome. We're so glad to have you. And if you're joining us again for the second time, welcome back. This is so exciting. Um, so in this video, I think we're just gonna have some stuff of me throughout the week. It will not be a week of crochet because if you watched my last video, we did not make it a week. So um, I went yarn shopping yesterday with my mom and she filmed some uh, funny clips of me yarn shopping because I am like a completely different person yarn shopping. I have no self-control. Honestly, it's pretty bad. But I did get some gift cards for uh, for my birthday. So I didn't spend any of my money. I just used gift card money. And then my mom had coupons that I used. So, yeah, you get to follow along and go yarn shopping with me. And then I'm going to show you some stuff that I am working on. And, yeah, it will be a fun little video. Uh, thank you guys so much for clicking on. And let's get into this video. We have a problem. We need to leave now before I grab more. Hope you guys enjoyed those clips of me yarn shopping. I thought there were more of them, but I gave my mom complete creative freedom with whatever she wanted to film. And some of those things did not make it into the video because they were horrible. So, yeah. But I hope you guys liked the clips that I did add in there. Especially the N1. She deserves it. So, <laughs> But let me just uh, show you guys the stuff that I got. And then what I plan on making with uh, the yarn that I got. So, almost dropped all of this. So, I, first of all, I bought all of this is jumbo yarn. Look at that. It's so thick. I want to make some jumbo stuff. Because I've never really made like i've never made anything with jumbo yarn first of all never used it never made anything with it so this will be a first for me but i do want to make some more giant plushies i'm going to make a giant strawberry sometime soon so i bought purple in it i brought uh bought this green color and then i'm trying to get it out of the bag i bought this peachy pink color i really like this color it's really pretty and so let me try to hold all of them it's all of them right there that I bought. Um, yeah. So, I think what I'll make with these things are, you know those, like, little land turtles? Like, hold on, let me go grab one, and then I'll show you what I plan on making. I'm back. Oh, God. Hold on. So, here is the little land turtle. I have two of them that I've made. They're so adorable. But, let me just, I have nowhere to put them. I don't want to, like, put them on the ground. So I'll just put you on that shelf right there. But I want to make some of those with jumbo yarn. I think that would be really cute. And so I think, like, the green, obviously, is for the body. And then these would be cute shell colors. And these, they didn't actually have, like, a lot of yarn. They, our Michaels here sucks. It's so bad. Like, I don't even like shopping there. But they're the only place that has, like, plush yarn in stores that's close by. At a reasonable-ish price. If that made any sense. But anyways, they had like these two colors and then they had like a hot pink color. But I'm not like a, I don't like hot pink. Like this turtle's hot pink, but it's got like little colorful speckles in it and it's super cute. Um, I'm honestly not like really a pink person. Like I like blush pink like this dinosaur is, but I don't really like other kinds of pink. Like hot pink is really just not my jam. But, so I got these two colors. And then, I was thinking, a, a while back, like a very long time ago, I watched like a video of someone crocheting a jumbo peach. And I was like, well, this is peach colored. It's kind of perfect. And so, if I have any leftover after I make a turtle out of these two colors, I might make a jumbo peach. Because, why not? It seems like it'd be so adorable. So, I think I'm going to do that. But, yeah. That's the yarn that I bought. They didn't have any clearance on yarn or else I would have probably bought more. But my mom and I had like these $5 like rewards voucher thingies. So I got like one of these things for free basically. And then I had gift cards. But 
the vouchers expired, so I had to buy something. So that's what I bought. Yeah. More yarn. Yay. Yarn makes me so happy. What color do you think it's gonna be? Be the purple. I love purple. I don't think it's the purple. <gasps> this is pretty though. So I have this other blue color that I got the other day and then this one too. Oh my God. It's so pretty. I love this. They knew, they do need to get um red. They don't, like they have a ton of colors in this. Maybe not like a ton, like 15, but they need to get red. Like that's all I'm asking is for some red, okay? Because I want to make some classic mushy boys, but I can't do that because they don't have red. And so it's really sad. But also, Joann's sucks a little bit. I love Joann's and all that. Like they're great. But whenever, and whenever it comes to shipping things, like I bought this big order with like, I think I bought like six skeins of yarn. And I've gotten individual packages of two of them. And it's been like weeks since I did that order. I think it's been like two weeks since I put in that order. And I've only gotten two things and they came individually. I think that's just really stupid. Like the last time I ordered yarn, it was more of this posh yarn. It all came in a package. All of the yarn that I put in that order came in one package, not individually. And so Joanne's always does this. And maybe it's because I pay for the cheapest shipping they offer because I am a cheapskate, wholeheartedly. I mean, maybe I should, no, no, we're not gonna pay for more expensive shipping. We're gonna deal with it because that's what we do. More yarn. I'm opening this on the floor because it has mud all over it and it's wet, so. This looks like I eat a lot of yarn. It's probably the rest of the stuff that I ordered. <gasps> Yay! Okay, I got this green color, first of all. It has the packaging all weird on it. Because I showed you, or did I show you? I don't know. I've recorded a clip and I. I don't even know if, I, if I'll put it in this video or not. But, anyways, uh, I have this lime mallard. The key lime mallard is what I'm calling him. And he's like, it's the wrong color green that I use for him. And so I bought this darker green. And hopefully it's a better mallard color than the key lime color that I got. Um, and then what else do I have in here? <gasps> I love this. It's like a peachy color. Oh my god, that's so pretty. So this is this is the orange color I guess I got. So I can make some like ducks. I can make a long chicken probably if you've seen the long chicken. And ooh, this one's really pretty. It's a blush pink. I like that. I think I'm gonna make a mushy boy with this one in a minute. I have my permit test tomorrow, and so I'm studying for that right now. And then I got this package. I still have more stuff coming. I think I have, I still haven't gotten the purple yarn. That's the one that I was like most excited for because like my favorite color at the moment, it changes constantly, but my favorite color right now is a uh, lavender purple. And so I bought that color and I still haven't gotten it. I'm sad. Uh, but wish me luck for my permit test tomorrow and then I have a lot of school stuff to get done I have literally I just found out today that I have like a 500 word essay that I have to write and it's due in like on Sunday and right now it's Wednesday so that means I have like oh, I can't do math it's like the 27th is when it's due is that Sunday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday. it's due by the 27th is what it said so I have like three days to write a 500 word paper so that's that's great just amazing my latest crochet obsession is these dinosaurs this is not done this is just the body of it but I made one of them like for like a white elephant is that what's called white elephant like thing for Christmas and out of velvet yarn but it didn't look that great but uh one of my friends won it and so she really liked it but then I stopped making them after that, but then I recently came back and made them again, and I made like a little keychain one that I showed in my last video. If you didn't watch my last video, uh, it's on like the, I don't know, like the picture that you see whenever you click on it. I don't know what's, what it's called, but I made this fluffy one, and I think I'm going to do the spikes this color. I think those colors go really well together. 
So I think that would be really cute. And then I have like a light blue color that I'm going to make like the body of another one out of. And then I have a, a lavender purple yarn that I still haven't got in yet. Hopefully I get it today. I'm going to put, no, it's blocking the camera. Ooh. Okay, but I haven't got the lavender yarn in, but I think uh, like the body of one that I'm working with so bad. Uh, let me start over. <laughs> but like the body of one that it would be baby blue and then the spikes would be like lavender purple. I think that would be really cute. And I want to make so many more. I still have to finish the other one that I'm making for the other little boy. Um, the green, the green little dinosaur keychain. It won't be a keychain, but it'll be a plushie that's really small. So, yeah, these are super cute, and you'll probably see a lot of these in this video because I'm planning on making a lot more. And also, I want to make some mushy boys, so I might make some of those later if I have time. Working on another dinosaur, but I thought I would just talk while I crochet because I got to some single crochet rounds, so don't really have to do any counting or anything. So, I took uh, my permit test today, and I passed. I didn't think I was because I really did not study a lot. So I was like super shocked whenever I uh, the iPad that I was taking the test on like said I passed. I was like, oh, really? It was kind of shocking. But now I can drive kind of legally. So that's exciting. I've, I'm actually terrified to drive. I've, <laughs> I've been scared to drive for a while. That's why I'm 17 and I still don't have my license. Like, I know a lot of 16-year-olds that do have their license, and that's, yeah. Most 17-year-olds have their license by this point, but I don't, because I'm scared to drive. But I think I'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> but today, whenever I was getting my picture taken to go on my permit, like, the picture is so bad. It's, I'll have to, like, put a, insert a picture, like, right here of what it ended up looking like. I look insane I, in the picture and the lady who was taking the picture I had to retake it three times which I did not know you could retake it because my face was too shiny for some reason but the lady literally said oh that one was bad and that is the one that is on my permit and so I was like why would you say that and so the one that she she even made a face and she's like well that was not great and that that picture is on my permit but it's only temporary so hopefully I can look better for my license because <laughs> that one will be permanent but I thought that was really interesting um but yeah I'm saving up to buy a car but I don't know what kind of car I want to get I want one that's cheap but I don't know I also want like a car that'll last a long time so I can have it for like college and stuff I think the car that I want to get is the Honda CRV, but they're so expensive. Like, I'm not going to buy new, obviously. I'm going to buy used. But I've been, like, looking on, like, uh, websites and stuff, and they're all so expensive. Like, I think I need, like, maybe, like, $8,000 to buy, like, a decent one. Because, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to buy a car that's older than me. So, I was born in 2007, so... I don't, I, I don't, I want something that's newer than 2007, so, I don't know, maybe I have high standards for cars, I don't know, but I need to save up more money so I can buy a car and all that, and, yeah, so, these are gonna be really cute, I'm so excited, these are like, I love this yarn so much, like, I keep saying that, but this yarn is literally so great. Like, yeah. Like, I, I can't wait to do, like, a yarn re review video. That's going to be really fun, I think. Just because, I don't know, I feel like I could talk a long time about a lot of different kinds of yarns. And, I mean, I've been crocheting since I was, like, I think 10 or 11. So, I feel like I'm pretty, like, knowledgeable about different kinds of yarns, maybe. But... I don't know. I think I'm going to have in the video like a section on like acrylic yarn and then like plush yarn. I don't know a lot about acrylic yarn, I don't think, because I mean, I don't really like I, I started like not using acrylic yarn as much recently just because I think I like the feel and like the look of plush yarn. And so 
Yeah, but I think I'll still talk about acrylic yarn a little bit and just tell you the kind of yarn that I like using, acrylic-wise anyways. But, yeah, I have to leave in a little bit because I have to go meet with one of, uh, like, I don't know, someone, like a professor, I guess. So, yeah. I don't know what time my dad's picking me up. Even though I can legally drive now, I've only driven one time and I almost crashed. Like, I literally, every time I feel like I drive something, I almost crash. <laughs> and I'll give examples. Like, whenever I think I was, like, seven, um, I was over at, like, the one of my dad's, like, colleagues, like, his house. And there was, like, a bunch of my dad's colleagues there. I don't know what it was. I was really young. And I don't really remember too much. But I do remember there was, like, a lot of kids there. And we were outside playing. And this guy, he had a big house. It was, like, kind of like a mansion. And he had a golf cart. So all the kids got on the golf cart and we were pretending like we were driving it and we're like how do we get it to go and <laughs> this one girl said like oh you just push the you just push that pedal and um everyone was like okay well let's not touch it i touched it and drove into this like the air conditioning unit on the side of his house <laughs> yeah that was interesting um another example um i I once knocked myself, not like literally knocked myself on unco like unconscious um, on a go kart. We were go karting one time, and I, my dad spun me out. I think it was my dad. That sounds like something he would do. So yeah, he spun me out, and so I ended up backwards on like the railing on the side of like the go kart track. And one of the employees there was trying to help me turn around so I could get going again. And so he's like, "Okay, back up." And so I backed up and I was like, 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 here's the track like this. And I'm like this and I'm backing up and he's like, okay, now just drive forward and turn and then you'll be back on the track. I accelerated full speed into the guardrail, knocked myself out. I had a headband on and it literally flew off. <laughs> and so that did not end well. And then over the summer, my uh, grandpa took me driving um, in his car and uh, I mean, it was fine. Like, I did okay driving. Like, I parked, and I was like, okay. But I did get distracted by our butterfly and, like, got a little distracted there, almost crashed. But it was it was fine. It all turned out okay. So I don't – I'm not expecting myself to be a great driver. But, yeah, that was totally, like, off topic, I think. But, yeah, I got to get ready to go. So talk to you guys later. I just got back from work, and guess what? more yarn this is it this is the package i have been waiting for the purple yarn i'm so happy if this stuff is not purple i'm gonna be so disappointed but this is the last thing i think i had in this order so it has to be purple ready <laughs> i'm gonna cry it's so beautiful oh my god it's not lavender purple but it's still purple and it's beautiful it's Oh my god, the colors are so beautiful that they have in this yarn. I need to make another dinosaur out of this one. I'm making a dinosaur out of like every color that I have in this yarn. I'm kind of going crazy, but it's fine. My camera's about to fall. Oh my god, don't fall. Okay. I'm just, it's like tilted. It's gonna fall. Okay. Is it gonna fall? No, I think we're good. Okay. But. Um, I told you I was obsessed with these dinosaurs, and so I just have to show you all the ones that I've made. They're not finished, they're just, like, the bodies. I'm gonna make the feet and, like, the tails and the spikes. Maybe today if I have time? I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. But we have the pink one, the yellow one, the tealish green one, and then we have a blue one, and then a purple one, and... Oh god, I can't hold all of them all at once. But we have a very pastel rainbow kind of color. So I need to make an orange one. And I don't know if that would be pastel -y still. This is a very, it kind of looks like a neon orange. So it's not super like pastel like the other colors are. But I still, I still am going to make one. So that's going to be my goal for today is to make a dinosaur out of these. Or out of this color yarn, and then I'm gonna try to make an emotional support pickle out of this green color, but I don't know if it's a wrong kind of green. I don't know, it's just 
is kind of like a bright green color and so I don't know if it would look good as an emotional support pickle we'll see like I'll start it and worst case scenario if it doesn't look good I'll take it apart I also need to make a mallard with using this green color because I used the like a neon green color um before and it did not look great so yeah I need to make that so today I'm just gonna focus on making the orange uh dinosaur and emotional support pickle I might finish off I have some chicken bodies that I might need to finish off today maybe yeah if I have time I also finished off the body for this small one that I'm gonna make for this little boy that I watch I made his brother one I gave that to him already I still need to finish this I finished the legs for it um and I am working on the tail right now but originally my plan was to make like the he just said he wanted a green dinosaur and this is green so I was like gonna make the spikes this color and I was like that's gonna be super cute and so yesterday I uh, watched him again and I told him I was gonna do the spikes this color and I'm like it's completely reasonable I forgot that six-year-olds are not reasonable humans though and he's like no I want the spikes to be red so I'm doing it this color Christmas colors and so he also wanted me to make the legs and the tails in red and I that's where I draw the line I'm like no I'm not gonna make that and so I apparently I'm gonna make a Christmas dino hopefully it doesn't look ridiculous like I think it will but I don't know it's what he wants whatever I don't know hopefully I don't know it's gonna look ridiculous I think no matter what just because these colors do not go well together in my mind but it's what he wants so we're gonna make it and yeah I don't really have to get it done until Wednesday so I'm just gonna work on some other stuff until then so I was able to get a lot of stuff done yesterday like more than I wanted to so yesterday my original goal was to make a emotional support pickle and then an orange dinosaur and I got a little bit more done than that so first of all the emotional support pickle and I still don't know if this is the right color green but I feel like this yarn really helps the face to show up better like I made a giant one out of uh burnout blanket yarn and I feel like that worked out really well but it did take up a lot of yarn to do that so um I don't know if I would make enough if I have enough yarn to make like another one but I would if I had enough and they also made one out of velvet yarn and the face did not show up that much because the yarn is so dark and so like the smile didn't show up like whenever you look at it you can't really see the smile um so this one I really like because the face did show up a lot better and then the orange dino but on top of the orange dino I also made this color green dino and I made this color green dino and so I have like a perfect little rainbow and uh, it's so adorable so I have this the pink one just to recap on what I have now so the pink one the orange one the yellow one this green color one this green color one this teal color one I don't know this blue color one and then this purple one um I have a little pile so I have eight in total <laughs> I still have to make like the feet and like the tail and the spikes for all of them and I think I'll work on that today I don't know if I'll get it done I don't know how long it'll take me but I don't like sewing but I'm gonna try not to procrastinate I'm really gonna try to not procrastinate because I want to get this done so I can start working on making other things in bulk and so yeah I made I have like a color combinations that I came up with so I have like these two are gonna be like a set in a way so the spikes on this one are going to be this color green the spikes on this one are going to be this uh this color purple and so i like those colors these are actually like my two favorite colors like this color green and like a lavender purple color so i think that's going to be a good cute uh color combination and then these two together so this this one will have uh pink spikes this one will have like the teal spikes and so i like that together and then I'm trying to think of all the combinations I came up with. These two, I really am excited about this one because I think these colors go so well together. So yeah, I really like that one. And then I don't like this one at all, but it's kind of, these are kind of like the two leftover colors I didn't know what to do with. And so 
yeah this is not gonna look great but hopefully someone will like it i don't know maybe it's cute i just these two ugh, these two colors are very neon and i'm not a fan of neon that much and so i'm not a fan of these colors together but i don't really have a choice so we're just we're gonna go with it yeah and then i don't know how else i would rearrange it originally i had these two colors together which i still think is a good color combination but then I had the pink with this orange and I don't know if that went super well because like the pink is so pretty and then there's this super like neon orange color and it kind of like makes the pink not as pretty looking. And so I don't know, I might try to rearrange some stuff just to make it so I don't have to have these two colors together, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll probably just stay with what I just showed you though. I also forgot to show you guys. So yesterday, there's so much yelling going on out there, but um, just ignore that a little bit. So I um, ordered some of these little stickers the other day, or not stickers, like tags. I have to cut them out, but for the emotional support pickles. And so I got to like, like, that's going to be so cute. So like at markets, I'll like get a ribbon and I'll like tie these little tags to them. Is what it says. It says emotional support pickle. Life isn't always always all bread and butter, so this pickle's here to help you deal with all that life throws your way. I really love that. So I had to buy it off of Etsy, and then I got it printed out at Walgreens. I was gonna do Office Depot because it is cheaper, but for some reason on the website it wouldn't let me add my design to cart. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but it wouldn't let me do that for some reason. So I ultimately got these printed at Walgreens. But I don't think the printing quality is that great. Because, like, look at all the, like, little marks on it, like, everywhere. I don't, like, yeah. Like that. I don't even know. This is, like, small little things. But I paid 88 cents. I'd expect better quality. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I have to figure out how to get these cut out. Because I'm terrible with scissors. We have, like, a cutting thing. But I don't really know how to use it. I'm going to have maybe my mom do that for me. Because she is, like, a pro at using that thing. So I think that's what I'll end up doing, but that's another day thing for whenever I maybe have a market. But I do want to give this emotional support pickle to a friend who's having a rough time and she needs an emotional support pickle because, you know, emotional support. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. We've been through a lot in this video. We went yarn shopping. We made a ton of dinosaurs. And so it's getting kind of long. So I don't want to keep you here for like 30 minutes or anything like that. So I'll keep you close to 30 minutes, but not exactly 30 minutes, I hope. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And like, congratulations if you made it all the way to the end. I don't know if I could watch it all, all the way to the end, mostly because I think I'm an annoying person. But um, yeah, thank you so much. Please make sure to like and subscribe this video and join us next time for another crochet vlog or whatever video we have next and goodbye see you guys next time